Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video I will be creating two cards using this gorgeous uh, Ponsetia or Ponsetia, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you probably get an idea of what kind of flower I will be using. So I started off by inking up this beautiful image with some alcohol friendly uh, black ink and this one is Memento, uh, you can use whatever uh, alcohol friendly ink you have for this technique and I did it a couple of times as you can see because I will need a lot of them because I will cut these flowers apart and only use certain part of the image so uh, I started off by just inking up uh, the part that I want to be red in this flower and I'm going from lightest to darkest today and I'm speeding off the coloring part really a lot here just to make sure that I'm not boring you and I will do the same thing with the green parts here I'm just speeding up the coloring and I will create some dimension with a couple of different shades of green and you can see I'm not taking any time to like be perfect with this because I will fussy cut uh, this image out right up against um, the black line and there is coordinating dice for this set but that leaves I believe it leaves because I don't I haven't used it so I believe it leaves a little bit of a white shadow and I didn't like that for my flowers today so here you can see the idea of how I will create all of my flowers for my first project for today and when I colored in and had everything done, I decided that I wanted to create a mini slimline uh, card. And I didn't like the hard white, so I did some messy ink blending with my ink blending tools from Trinity Stamps. And then I used a mini slimline geometric cutout um, piece here. That is also from the new release, and I used some liquid glue to adhere it. And then I played around with the arrangement and I will actually step or leave that to the side a second here just to focus on my second card for today. That is also a tip. If you're unsure of how to move forward with your project, just leave it for a second and do something else and then come back to it. I promise you, you'll like it a little bit better when you can come back to it. Um, and that is exactly what happened for me today. I was unsure if I liked how I had colored all of my images in and if I should precede that flower or if I should leave it and go ahead and create another card. So I stepped away and I did some coloring for my second card and then I com come back and I, I finished the card and I really liked it in the end how it all turned out and how it looked. So the idea wasn't anything, I don't think it was anything wrong with the idea. It was just my mood when I had created all of that uh, die cut pieces. I was probably tired and you know, all the fussy cutting and everything. So when you come back to a project, you probably will like it a little bit more. So enough about that. You can see for this card, I decided to go um, in another color direction here. I decided to go with some pinks and teal and that red um, I, I can tell you this is another red color combination this is one that is more towards the pink side uh, I really like that one and uh, I decided to create some dimension for this card as well and just pop everything up with some fun foam or oh, sorry some scotch foam tape and then place it down can see how I'm struggling here <laughs> but before I put everything down I thought it looked a little bit too hard with all of the um, white around my flowers so I went in with some splatters as well as some inking and then I can place my flower down So for my last piece for this, I also did some uh, dimension. And you can see to color in the image underneath in pretty much the same color really helps uh, bringing this flower together and making it look like a 
raised up image or a continuous pattern or whatever. Um, so if I hadn't done that, I think it would have looked a little bit strange. So for my center piece, I went in with some gold bubbles from Trinity Stamps. And I just picked out the ones that is the smallest. And I used some liquid glue in the center there and just popping everything in. Uh, I think this is really fun. That little detail makes, makes uh, for such a big uh, impact on this card. And since I started with the bubbles, you will see I go nuts with them on the other card as well as on this card as well. I really like it. So for my sentiment, I used one of uh, the new uh, larger sentiments here. I cut it out of some fun foam as well as some gold as mirror cardstock here and this one is called season's greetings and i just used the part that says greetings and i think that makes this card a little bit more neutral and you can use it um, all like winter season even though it's um, uh, more aimed towards uh, the holidays you can use it all winter seasons i think um, so you can see for my eye there, I used just one of the gold bubbles for the dot. And for this card, just to bring some dimension between our geometric cut, our background and the sentiment, I raised it up and I also used the shadow. And I used the shadow in some really fun vellum. This one is from Make a Forte. It has like this gold sheen to it. It's really beautiful in real life. I don't think the camera is picking it up, but um, yeah, really beautiful. And I used three of the four points that yes that we created, so I have one left. So I will keep that in the backing of my uh, package for this stamp set. So if I want to create a new project with the same idea, I have that already cut and ready to go. That is really a good tip if you want to use up your scrap that you have in your stash. So here are our cards. They are soon finished. Uh, I will go into the centerpiece of our poncetias here and just create some fun dimension with some glossy accent. And this is actually embossing powder, but you can use glitter or whatever you have in your stash. Uh, this is holographic uh, embossing powder from Ranger, but I I really like how that looks. It's subtle, but it makes for a big difference. It looks like uh, you took the time to really embellish this card a little bit more. Um, so really fun and beautiful and easy to replicate if you like. I'm using a dry brush here just to take away some of the parts that got stuck or some of the glitter that got stuck around my panel. So if you like this video, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Uh, I will be back soon with more content. Um, yeah, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe to the channel and maybe give this video a thumb up. Until next time, have a great day. Bye!